it began with possessiveness and I thought he did it because he loved me. So I ignored the warning sign. I ignored the, the things that I knew were wrong. The verbal abuse started first, then it became physical. He came up and he said, I saw you looking at that guy and he punched me in my face. I spent the next three weeks locked in the hotel room. So I had the fancy car, I had the fancy house, but behind closed doors, I paid dearly for that stuff. My coworkers, they knew that I was being abused and they would say, why don't you leave? I found every reason why I should stay. I didn't think that anyone could help me. I didn't think that I could make it on my own. I didn't know about resources for domestic violence and I would look at my children. I knew for them I had to survive because either he was going to kill me or I was going to kill him. He kicked me in my face one night and it was that one incident that I finally said enough. I am a witness that there is life after domestic violence. You can survive and thrive. It just takes that first step, which is the hardest step. We only have one life, and your life is precious. So love yourself enough to get out of the situation.